shower time. Uh, in. 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 <laughs> in. In. Take a shower. I did it. You were trying to wash a cat. Shower time. <laughs>Friends, I am trying to keep my promise that I made in my last video about uploading more often. Um, today is Monday, October 1st, and normally on Mondays we would have music therapy, but we have actually, after almost four years, have decided to take a break from music therapy. She has just not been really interested in it like she used to be, so I think it's, we're just going to take a break for a while and... Um, because there's just no point in like trying to force her to do it that just you know she's not learning anything it's not fun and so we're just gonna take a break from that so we don't have that commitment today so most vlogs they say you know build a story and plan your day plan your video and everything but I really have no idea what's gonna happen today and honestly every time I try and do something like that unless we have like an event or something we're doing. My videos always like go nowhere, I feel like. So I'm just winging it today and we'll see what happens. Hopefully at the end of the day, I have something to put together for you. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, because it is the 1st of October, I would like to put up some of our inside Halloween decorations. So hopefully Samara will want to do that with me as well. But, if you go outside, you'll see that we've got remnants of a hurricane outside. So, as you can see, gloomy day. Our air conditioner is still running, but it's a gloomy day. <laughs> Much cooler. Kind of a nice break for us in, in Phoenix, in the desert. Um, I, can, I feel a little bit of rain right now. So we're not gonna put out any outdoor Halloween decorations, what I was hoping to do. This week we were also hoping, Ralph, no bark. Ralph, stop it. We were, I was also hoping to uh, go to the farm this, this Thursday, but if we have the kind of epic rain that they're talking about, flooding, flood warnings and stuff, um, it's probably gonna be a big mud hole out there, so I doubt we'll go. So. Everything is just kind of going to play it by ear this week, I guess. Right, now we're going to get ready, have breakfast. Um, yeah, I think it's almost noon. Because, yeah, that's the way we roll. Aren't they going to get to eat too? Mm. No. Bye. So Matt is inside right now, desperately searching for our missing Lego uh, pumpkin head. Apparently when we were at the uh, Arrowhead store yesterday, the Lego store, we were playing in the mini figs Samara was building and they had a pumpkin head for the mini fig. It's like carved and everything so you can see their face through it. And she said when we checked out, she said, oh you found one of the pumpkin heads. She said there's like five in that whole uh, mini fig display. And so we were really excited to get it because we love Halloween and it was kind of special because there aren't very many of them. And Samara managed to lose it, which is kind of weird because usually we find it somewhere, but we've searched upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. We can't find this pumpkin head. We probably won't be able to get another one. I mean, nobody's in trouble. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a toy, but it's just kind of a bummer. So he's in there searching for that. I'm currently having a migraine because I'm stressed out about therapy last week and I'll put the link for that if you didn't see last week's video um, 
I wrote that therapist a letter just kind of explaining an email, a letter. You can tell old I am. Uh, just kind of explaining my point of view of things and I haven't heard anything back and therapy is tomorrow so I'm having migraine. I'm currently having the lovely auras in my vision. I'm hoping that passes. Um, we're gonna leave the house here a little bit later I think. Uh, as I said earlier we're kind of playing it by ear today. And I think we're gonna go check out um, this retro game shop because Matt was there last week trying to get one of our um, Batman Lego discs buffed out and he said they have all kinds of cool um, and cheap DS games and Samara <laughs> is now able to use DS. Um, video games, man, I, they have helped her a lot the past year. I know that sounds weird probably. They've helped with her fine motor. They've really helped with her problem solving, problem solving and logic kind of uh, process. And even when you were just watching um, her being able to take those, um, her being able to take those, um, what do you call them? <laughs> the window decals off of the paper? She couldn't do that last year. Like she wouldn't have even been able to figure out how, and she was able to bend it and get it off. Like she figured out how to do it. And part of that is just, that problem solving and that's also part of our RDI too because we have been very deliberate about making sure we give her time to figure things out and not telling her everything to do you know we tell her oh this needs to be done and then she has to figure out how to do things so lots of that declarative language that's helped too she's having fun
can't see the lights blaring on this. Wow. One little devil. One big, big devil. What did we get today, Samara? What did we get? Can you show us our, your new pop? Yeah. She's right there. Your new pop? Show us your new pop. What's her name? I, the name is Sweets. Oh, Penelope from what movie? From. What movie is she in? Wreck It Ralph. Look at all the candy in her hair. She's pretty cute. So, yeah, so she got this new pop at GameStop. That's her third pop. So I guess she's a pop collector now. New pop collector. And then I stopped at Costco and I got I got a lot of really cool stuff at Costco right now. If you like to do stuff with your kids, this one was really cool. Smithsonian uh, human body. And it comes with a skeleton and some stickers and lots of educational stuff. And then they have these books from the Smithsonian Lab Maker. They have one for indoors. Um, so you can do projects and, and science experiments together. And then they have one for design for outdoors. Pretty cool. And they're only um, $12 a book. And then, let's see what else. Uh, our mini haul today. Oh, the little devils got, um, I guess they're going to be devils for Halloween. That kind of wasn't planned, but... We stopped at Party City, and that's just kind of what happened. His daddy got this one. Daddy found this one. This is a really, um, it's pretty cool looking mask. And it was really cheap. I think it was like $10. And so Samara ended up getting this, and she's got the little. So I just have to find the rest of her costume. Probably just be a red t-shirt or something. Comfortable. A lot of the costumes are so scratchy or they have a seam in the middle, like where the skirt goes or something and it bothers her, so that can be a problem. GameStop, we picked up for 97 cents on clearance. One of the superchargers for her supercharger game. And, and then mom, mom got today my matching troll. I got the girl one last year at Walmart. These are only $15. I like to put them outside. I love garden gnomes and I actually don't have any except for the zombie ones. <laughs> but these are super cool. I think they look really nice for the, the price that they are. That's about it. And then Matt's searching around for, after we went to that game shop, Matt has his eyes on a retro pie. So he's trying to figure that out in the cheapest way to get one. Come here. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it for today, guys. Um, I have a couple things coming up tomorrow. I'm going to make a couple videos. I'm going to be reviewing um something from the stem club from the amazon stem club and then also a curriculum called q wonder that is about emotions so look forward to that and i guess that's it for today don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell for notifications and we will see you next time you want to say goodbye want to say goodbye no